بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان شاء الله اول اول ستارت دوينغ سام ليكشرز فور مات 101 ذيس تيرم تيرم 241 اند اي ويل ستارت اكسبلين ايتش هي سيكشن اند ذين اي ويل تراي تو دو سام سام اكسرسايزز to cover the section. So we'll start with this the first one, 2.1, which is a preview of, a preview of calculus. Mainly we'll talk about the tangent linear problem. The idea is we'll try to, to show the, the importance of the, of the limits through a specific problem, through this problem, tangent line problem. Uh, and if to find an equation, of the tangent line to the parabola at this point. You know that if you have two points, if you have two points, yeah, you can find the equation. You can find the slope, which is, um, if you have two points, uh, you have a line passing through two points, P and Q, then you can find the slope, which is, delta y over delta x, you have a point, then you can find the equation. But in this problem, you have a function, and you have only one point. Hmm. You don't have another point. So what you have exactly um, is this graph. You, we need to find the equation of this red line. You have the function, y equal x square, and we have the point, which is 1, 1, and the red line is the tangent line. Hmm. So we have a point, but we don't have the slope. So we can apply the equation. This is the equation of, of any line, if we know the, the slope and, and the point. Okay, so what is the idea? The idea simply is, I'll take another point, another point Q. So now this blue line, it's not the tangent line, it's a secant line through these points, P and Q. Okay, and I will try to make X, I will try to choose X in a way so that it goes near and near one. It goes smaller and smaller. So I'll take this point Q for nearby point, and then I will let X goes to one. So choose X not equal to one, so Q not equal to P. So this is, will be the slope of this line PQ, which is delta Y over delta X. Since this is the point Q and this is the point P. So you have x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. So if we take, um, this is the slope of the second line. If we take the point, for example, 1.5, then this is will be the slope of this line, PQ. But let us notice, if I make Q um, goes near P or goes to P, then the slope of the blue line is almost the same as the slope of the red line. You cannot sit here. As Q is going nearby to P, then the slope of the blue line is almost the same as the slope of the tangent line. So if I let Q goes to P, then the slope of the secant line, so if I let Q goes to P, then the slope of the secant line, the blue one, huh? do equal the slope equal the slope of the tangent which is the rate which is what we are looking for okay that's mainly the idea in that case so we have a point and also we find the slope so what is the slope if i choose x values nearby um nearby one either more than one or less than one, the same idea. So we took Q, Q here, and they let it go to, to B. 
So if we take x zero, that will be MPQ. 0 0.5, 1 0.5, 0 0.9, 1 0.9, and so on. So it's very clear that as P goes to Q, or X goes to one, huh? B goes to Q means X goes to one. What will happen to the slope of the secant? Slope of the secant will go to the slope of, will goes to, to one, uh, to two, sorry. It will go to two. Notice 1.99 here, and here 2.001. So it will go to one. So as X goes to one, getting closer and closer to one, that means Q is closer to B. And that give me, as X goes to one, this slope, MBQ goes to what? To two, either from both sides. So the slope of the tangent will be two. So I have the slope of the tangent, which is two. So I can find the equation, which is just since I know the point, and the point is one, one. The point is, yeah, the point is here, is, is, is 1, 1, huh? Okay, that's mainly the idea, so I can get the equation of the tangent line. In a summary, what will be the tangent line, the tang or the slope of the tangent line, will be the limit, x goes to a, huh? I want to find the tangent line there, here, okay. So I'll take another point Q. So this is the blue, the blue one. Give me the second line, huh? The blue one. The blue one. Give me the second line, but as Q goes, uh, as Q goes to B. Or X goes to A. What will happen? The slope, and this is represented by the limit. As B goes to Q, as Q goes to B, which means X goes to A, this is we'll do it through the limit. So I need the limit of this, which is the slope of the secant. What is the slope of the secant? If you take these two points, what will be the slope of the secant? Delta Y or delta X. If you take Q and P, that will be F of X minus f of a over x minus a. If you find the limit, then you get the slope of the tangent, then you can find the equation of the tangent. That's mainly the idea of this section. Okay, the rest just we will do some, uh, some problems. So we have two things mainly. We have the slope of the secant, which is if you have two points, delta y over delta x, and you have the slope of the tangent, if I let x goes to a, or I let q goes to b as a limit of the secant. So m tangent, it's the limit as q goes to b of the m secant. Okay. Yeah, that's merely the idea. Now let us do some problems. He says the point lies in the curve. So I have this point p. We have another point Q is the point this, the general one for any X. Now he wants the slope of the secant line PQ when X equal A. So my Q is A and A over A minus two. And he wants the slope of what? Secant line, I don't need a limit, just the secant line, which is delta Y over delta X. And that give me just calculation now, a over a minus two, delta a minus a over two minus two over a minus four. And that give me what? Over a minus two. Let me do it in steps. That will be a minus two times a minus two over a minus two over a minus four. That give me what? What would be the numerator? It will be a minus two a plus four over a minus two times one over a minus four. That is what? This is four minus a, or I can write it minus a minus four over a minus two 
times 1 over a minus 4, this is cancelled. So I have 1 over 2 minus a, and this is my answer. Okay, that will be the answer. And this one, he wants me to find the slope of the tangent line. So what will it be m tangent? It will be the limit as x goes to a. That will be the, I will use this equation. Use this equation, this formula. So we have <clears throat> f of x minus f of a over x minus a. Okay, what is a? a is zero, and f of x is x squared minus a x. Let us put the put the things. Limit a is zero, x goes to zero. F of x, x squared minus e to the power x. By the way, what is f of zero? Either you can plug it here or it's there. This is f of zero, which is minus one, which is zero minus e to the power zero, which is minus one. Minus f of one, f of zero, which is minus one, over x minus zero. And that will be limit. X goes to zero. X squared minus e to the power x plus one over x, and that will be my answer, which is a. Okay. Let x be a function so that f of one equal one. So we have the point is 1 and 1, mm. and he gave me this. What is this? And you want the equation of the tangent line. Yeah, this one, if you notice, this one I can write it, f of x, what is 1? 1 is f of 1 over x minus 1. Yeah, if we look at this one, if we look at the formula, it's the same as this one, where a equal 1. So this is the slope. This is the slope of the tangent line at x equal one. Yeah, tangent line to the graph. Huh? Tangent line to f of x at x equal one. So this is will be the slope, and he said this equal to half. So I have m equal half, and they have the point one and one. So I can use the formula now for finding the line, which is, what is the formula? I think we wrote it somewhere. Yeah, this is the formula. If you know a point and the slope. So we do this for, Formula. We do this formula, so I have y, this is x1, and this is y1. So I have y minus 1 equal half x minus 1. Yeah, I need to do the calculation. Multiply by 2, I have 2y minus 2 equal x minus 1. So I have 2y minus x minus 2 plus 1. So I have 2y minus x minus 1 equal 0, which is this one. And that should be my answer, yes. The slow tangent line to this curve and this point is given by this. Okay, the same idea. What will be the slope? Will be the limit? X goes to zero. Is it the same problem? No, it's a different problem, okay. X goes to zero, f of x minus f of zero over x minus zero, since a is zero, huh? a is zero. So that gives me what limit x goes to zero. F of x, which is this function, minus f of zero, f of zero is one. Actually, I can get it from here. E to the power zero is one plus zero, which is one, minus one over x. So the answer is this one, C. Yeah. An expression for the slope of the tangent line of f of x at x equal by over 4. So this is a. This is a by over 4. This is f of x. So the slope will be the limit. x goes to a by over 4. f of x minus f of a, f of by over 4, over x minus by over 4. That will be the limit. 
x goes to pi over 4. What is f at pi over 4? f at pi over 4 it will be cosine square pi over 4. 1 over square root of 2, that will be half. That will be half. Huh? Which is, yeah, uh, 1 over square root of 2, cosine pi over 4, square it 1 over 2. So that will be cosine square x, f of pi over 4, which is half over x minus pi over 4. So very clear is D, my answer. Okay. The slope of tangent line to this curve. Yeah, he gave you A, 3, and f of A equal 1. So now the things are ready. What will be the slope? Will be the limit. X goes to A, which is 3. F of X minus A minus F of A over X minus A, which is this one, A. The so tangent it line to this curve. I need F of A. A is by over 4. F of A will be sine square of by over 4. And that will be half. So the slope will be limit. X goes to pi over 4. Yeah, I think now we get it. Huh? Sine square X minus half over X minus pi over 4, which is this one. Yeah. Yeah, this is the last one. If the points B, we have three points, P1, P2, P3, line the graph of this function. Yeah, and the slope of the secant line through these Two points is two. So M, P1, P2 is two. And what is that? Yeah. I need to use delta Y. Let me do the calculation here. So I have the slope of P1, P2. This is two. And this is, will be delta Y over delta X between P1 and P2. So I need to use these two points. So I have y1 minus 1 over 3 minus 1. So I'm getting what? I'm getting y1 minus 1 equals 4. So y1 equals 5. That will be my y1. Okay. Now what he said also, he said the slope of the secant line through P1 and P3. So the slope P1, P3 is minus 1. So it means I will use this point and this point. I'll use P1 and P3. So that slope will be what? Y2 minus 1 over 5 minus 1. That means this is 4. So I have minus 4 equal Y2 minus 1. So y2 equals minus 3. Okay. Yeah. He wants what? f of 3 plus f of 5. Notice this point means what? This is f of 3. f of 3 equals what? y1. And from this, f of 5 equals y2. So that means f of 3 will be y1 plus y2, which is 5 minus 3, which is 2. And that will be my answer. I think this is enough for this section. It's a quick section. Quick one. We have mainly this idea. The slope of the tangent. I can do it through this formula. Before that, I get the slope of the secant. Thank you. I will stop.